Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new pick a pile for you guys today. And today we are asking the question, what is going to happen for you in December 2020? So yes, this is your December 2020 pick a pile. We're going to look at what is going on, what's happening. Um, first of all, before I launch into our pile choices, um, I realize our setup today looks a little bit different and um, unusual as opposed to previous ones. And I apologize for not getting on and literally not uploading anything at all last week. Um, I was driving across country last week. I left on Sunday the 22nd from LA and I drove into Chicago by Tuesday night, um, the 24th, last week. So uh, yeah, a very long trek from LA to Chicago, which is why I haven't been on. And basically, Wednesday, the day after, I pretty much crashed and just slept most of the day because I was so tired. And then on top of that, my period came. So of course, that made me even more exhausted and that kind of thing. So that's why I haven't been on. And then of course, Thanksgiving was the day right after that. So I've just been kind of busy, um, not only just getting fresh off of being on the road, but also just getting into the flow of being back here in Chicago, at least for the time being. I'm here um, now through the end of the year, basically. I'm staying for uh, the duration of December and Christmas, and I'll go back sometime in the new year. So I figured that would be the safest bet with everything going on with COVID and everything, which I feel like I was right because it's kind of crazy to me how many people went ahead and flew out anyways for Thanksgiving. But as long as I'm driving clear across the country, well, then here I am and here I'm going to stay for a while, get the most out of my very long drive. So, um, yeah, that's kind of why I've been a little out of commission for the past week, but I'm really going to try to get back into the flow of things again. I've been trying to adjust to everything, so I'm staying at my mom's right now and literally doing this reading from off of my bed <laughs> that I'm sleeping in, and I, I have a, a few little Christmas lights here to add to the effect, and uh, you can you guys can probably see my dog <laughs> over there in the background. That's Shadow. He says hi. So he may be appearing in these videos while I'm here just kind of sleeping and chilling out on the other side of the cards because, well, he always wants to be around me and this bed is huge, so it's the best way for him to do it. So yeah, he's going to be my little assistant and hopefully he just doesn't walk all over the cards. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what's been going on and hopefully with getting back into the flow with everything, I'm actually hoping that I might be able to upload more content than normal, but I definitely at least want to get back to the regular of posting at least like three times a week. Hopefully I'll be able to do more. Um, once again, private readings are open and available, so if you guys are interested in that, details are down below. But let's get into our choices here. Enough of me rambling, updating you guys on why I haven't been around because I am back. Um, let's jump into our pile options. We have many, and I know it looks kind of weird the way it's set up, but um, I've still been trying to adjust how my setup looks here and everything, so it's a little awkward and different from what I'm used to at home. But anyway, so we have seven, not just, you know, four piles or five piles. We have seven different piles to pick from, you guys, today. So pile number one, we have all little ornaments. Pile number one is this little boat, this cute little boat ornament, little cruise liner. And that's the other thing, too. Like, even with the lighting, you guys, I have to, like, crazy adjust this lighting because I feel like it's way brighter in here than it usually is when I'm at home. So I'm constantly having to adjust things. So anyways, the boat is pile one. Pile two is this little Christmas tree ornament. And all of these little ornaments are off of the Christmas tree that is actually in my room right now. Hold on, I can show that to you really quickly. There it is, there's the mini Christmas tree. So it's in my room here. But anyways, um, 
yeah, this is the Christmas tree ornament, pile number two. Pile number three is an, an ornament with my name on it, actually. <laughs> so if you want the ornament with my name, or maybe you share the same name as me, this might be the one for you. Pile number three. Pile number four is this cute little star ornament. It's pretty sparkly. I feel like the sparkle is hard to see because my ring light is pretty strong in here for some reason. I don't even know why. Like, I only have two other lights on, so it's kind of crazy. Um, pile number four is a hot air balloon. Little hot air balloon ornament. Pile, how many piles have I done? One, two, three, four, five. Pile number six, I'm losing track here and count. Pile number six is a sleigh. A sleigh that is ready to roll into town and deliver all the presents. And pile number seven is the man himself who controls the sleigh, Santa, but this must be Santa after he's done delivering all the gifts because he's ready to take a little ski vacation, a little ski break. So here's Santa, pile number seven. So those are your different options. Timestamps are down below and we are gonna get started with pile number one, the boat pile. Hi, pile one, if you chose this cute little boat ornament, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what's in store for you for December 2020. Exciting stuff. All right, we're going to stick the boat right there in a sea of Christmas lights <laughs> and let's get into it. All right, we're going to be looking at cards from the Christmas Love Oracle because December is pretty much Christmas time, so that's what we're going to take a look at. And I feel like the lighting is still crazy off in here, so bear with me. It's driving me a little nuts how bright it is, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, so let's see what you guys have got. I'm just going to go ahead and lay these all out, and then we're going to kind of put the pieces together and see how it comes through. <laughs> I want to... I want to give it to you. Oh my gosh, it's so bright you can't even see it. Let me try toning this down again. Do I even need to use a ring light in here? I don't know. Let me try turning it off altogether. Oh, now you guys can really see. I may not even need to use it. That's kind of crazy, but now you can definitely see what it is on there, and you guys know what that is. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a little bit of that. And trying to come through. Let's work things out. Holiday love songs. Single parent. Sexy and single. Oh shit, disaster. I know you uh, You know how to make a house a home, cozy and warm. I'm sorry if I'm a little off, you guys. It's just, like I said, I'm still kind of adapting to my new environment as I work here. Full of ho-ho-hos. Outgoing message, I want to see you this holiday. Sensual activities. And last but not least, under pressure, breaking point, wit's end. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff going on here. I hope you guys can see it all clearly. Like I said, I'm still kind of adapting to this. Um, okay, so let's see. Here is what I see going on with you guys dealing with this group. Um, so number one, right off the bat, we have the single parent card. So I feel like this card is basically in reference to the fact that either you or someone around you in your life is a single parent. 
I feel like for most of you guys, it's probably going to be you, the viewer, who's, who's watching this, which is probably single, because we also have sexy and single. So it's almost like this is implying the fact that, um, you know, you may be a parent, but it's like you're a MILF, you know, like you're a mom who's got it going on kind of a thing. Um, so just because you're a mom, that doesn't mean that you're like not attractive or anything like that. It means, you know, you still have sex appeal. You still, um, you know, you're like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a moth to a flame. Like you're like a honeybee attracting them into the hive or something. I don't know how to describe it, but I think I know, I think you know what I mean. Um, anyway, so yeah, you still have it going on. But, you know, you probably have a little one or a big one <laughs> that you're taking care of. And, um, yeah, so I feel like this is probably in reference to you that you're the single one and you're most likely a parent. And if that's not you, you know, you could be single and maybe there's someone in your life who you're close to who's a single parent. It could be, like, your person. It could be your person of interest. It could be... Um, your best friend or a close family member or something along those lines, but there's someone close to you who is a single parent if it's not you, or it could simply be in reference to the fact that maybe you're a single parent, like, kind of like I am, you know, you have like a, a dog, maybe you're like a, a fur mama or something like that. So um, either way, take it as it resonates, but there's definitely like this single factor involved and parental factor that's involved. Um, in your story and what's happening for you in the month of December. Um, but yeah, I do feel that if there's somebody who you're interested in, if there's somebody that you're connected to in your life, I do believe that um, there's going to be some messaging going on. So we have outgoing message. I want to see you this holiday. Now, I feel like this is most likely you who's probably sending the message because I know there's another card in this deck that is about if somebody is going to be sending you a message, like you have an incoming message, but this is outgoing. So to me, that says that you're the one who's likely sending the message. So you may be hitting somebody up during the holiday season that you care about, that you're interested in, and basically telling them this, that, you know, you'd like to see them over the holiday season, you know, even despite everything that's going on with COVID and all this crazy stuff that's happening, um, I feel like you're probably going to reach out at some point and say something, say something to this person. You may not be like, you know, flooding them with messages or bothering them constantly or anything like that, but just, you know, to kind of let them know that you're there, let them know that you care kind of a thing. So I feel like, you may be doing that, but um, I feel like it's not going to come without some kind of struggle, I guess you could say, um, because I feel like either you or your person is probably under a lot of pressure during the holiday season, you know, breaking point, wit's end, and the truth of the matter is the holiday season can be a really stressful time for a lot of people, you know? Um, whether it's trying to buy presents and maybe you're stressed out about that. Maybe you're financially strapped or they're financially strapped or something. Um, just like the expectations of the holidays. And then you throw everything else that's going on in this world on top of it with like COVID and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's just a stressful time. Like the holiday season can be a very joyful time. It can be a very... Um, magical time, but it can also be stressful. So you or your person could be under a lot of stress and pressure at this time, which could affect some of the communication that winds up going on. So I don't feel like when you guys are talking, I don't feel like it's going to be smooth. Um, I don't feel like this is just going to be like an automatic transition of, oh, hey, how are you doing? Like, I love seeing you too, blah, 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 blah. I feel like there's going to be some struggle, but I don't feel like it's going to be because you guys are upset with one another. I feel like it's going to be because you guys are stressed out about external factors going on in your lives that are just, like, affecting the way that you communicate with one another, if that makes any sense. Um, and because of that, 
you know, there's going to be bumps along the road. It may feel like things are not going to come through where you're not going to have like a magical moment with this person or anything like that during the holidays because there may be some disasters <laughs> that may come. I don't feel like they're going to be anything major, but um, it could just feel like the world is crashing down on you at certain times. And I feel like this is mainly because of those external pressures. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's going to be some little disasters. I don't feel like it's going to be major. Like, I mean, you look at this card, you got this TV kind of exploding there. I don't feel like it's going to be like explosive disaster like that. But I do feel like there's, there's going to be some bumps along the road. It's not going to be the easiest. Um, but I do believe that you guys are really going to work to try and make this work out. Because we have trying to come through and let's work things out. So even if you guys have some issues in the beginning, like communicating and making plans to do something, and maybe the issue is you guys have very different schedules, or like I said, you're under pressure at work, maybe there's financial stuff, maybe you're both concerned about like meeting up and seeing each other with everything going off COVID. It could be a lot of different reasons, but I feel like it's not going to be easy making arrangements to see each other but I feel like you're both equally going to be working hard at trying to make it happen. Um, you guys may feel a little stuck here in the chimney like Santa does. You know, he's trying, he's trying to get down there, but it's not, not as easy as it looks. But um, you guys are equally going to be working hard at trying to make this happen, trying to work it out. Um, but I definitely feel like it's more so external factors, you know, like, for example, maybe you're someone who's in a third-party situation. That could be a complicating factor as to why it's hard for you guys to see one another if there's another person, if there's another situation going on. Um, so that could be possible, too. You know, take it as it resonates, of course. Like, you're going to know whatever it is, that boundary, whatever that blockage is that may be preventing you guys from um, finalizing these plans. But... I do believe when these plans actually take place and come through, it's going to be all good. Because um, you guys definitely have some fun stuff coming through. Uh, let's see. We got full of ho-ho-hos, and I want to give it to you. They want to give you the D. So um, there's definitely going to be some of that going on. Throw in sensual activities on top of that. And I think you guys can pretty much gather what's going to happen when you guys do work it out. And I feel like um, like you guys are going to wind up going straight to this simply because there was so much stress and there was so much pressure to get this going, to bring it together and everything. So it's almost like doing all this, you know, being under the mistletoe together basically is going to be like a way to burn all of that tension, all that stress, all of that pressure off. So, you know, he's going to want to let his little... Santa out of his pants and give you the D basically. I have to laugh at these cards sometimes like they're just so cheesy and they're so funny but you know that's okay. We can be cheesy and funny. It's all good. So I definitely feel like that but it's not just going to be about the physical act. It's not just going to be about the physical stuff because we also have holiday love songs. So I do believe that there will be romance involved in this, that there is going to be, um, like emotion involved in it. Like there's going to be connection on like that mental level. There's going to be connection on that spiritual level. It's like you guys will know how to sing to one another, each other's like holiday song, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, maybe you guys will go Christmas caroling together. I don't even know if people are going Christmas caroling <laughs> this year. Who knows? Um, but yeah, like there's definitely going to be some significance with music. And I feel like romance as well when it comes to that. And we also have, you know how to make a house a home cozy and warm. So I feel like there's definitely going to be tenderness. There's going to be cuddling. There's going to be snuggling. There's going to be just like that feel good stuff, you know, and this could even be like afterwards, you know, but I'm saying that it's definitely going to be more than just the physical grabby nature of everything. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I see overall for you guys. Um, 
So definitely, um, there's there's going to be that loving. There's going to be that romance. There's going to be that sweating it up underneath the tree kind of stuff. But um, it may take a little while. It may not happen until, you know, who knows? It may not happen until Christmas Eve or something like that. But, um, you know, don't be afraid to send out that message, you know, just to say hi. Just to say, like, hey, you know, like, it's the holidays. I care about you. And the holidays is the perfect time to, like, reach out to people anyways because um, everyone wants to know that they're cared about during the holidays. And especially in a difficult year like what we have been through. So, um, yeah, don't be afraid to do that. And, uh, and, uh, and the other thing too is like, I feel like this person genuinely cares about you. And if you are the single parent, I feel like they genuinely care about your child too. And, you know, if they're the single parent, I feel like, you know, you really care about their child. And, uh, yeah, so I do feel like things are going to work out with this, but it may be, there may be a few bumps in the road before you get there. So, um, yeah, anyway, now for your loving words from Jesus card, because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day helps keep the bad vibes away. And you guys got, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 11, not John 10, 11. So, you know, this is just a reminder that, you know, God is there for you. God would do anything for you. You know, God gave his life for you. Um, and that, you know, basically, you know, and I, I realize that like being a sheep is kind of considered like a bad thing nowadays, like, especially when it comes to politics and everything, people are like, oh, don't be a sheeple or whatever. But when it comes to God, when it comes to like that higher power and everything, it's good to be one of his sheep because he genuinely cares for his sheep and he takes good care of them. Like, um, he doesn't, you know, let them become abandoned. He doesn't allow the wolves to eat them in the middle of the night or anything like that. Like he genuinely takes good care of them. Like basically like you're his child. He's there for you and he wants to take care of you. So, um, I feel like that's a good reminder to know during the holiday season as well. So anyway, that's what I see for you guys for December, 2020. Um, I hope that resonated and that made sense for you. Um, if it did, please let me know and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, even if it's a simple, small emoji. That definitely goes a long way. Um, also, please give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. That helps me out a lot too. And please feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on their way. Otherwise, I am just so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys you guys decided to stop on by and spend some time here with me. Um, it definitely means the world to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling, and I'm sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose this Christmas tree ornament, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is happening for you December of 2020. So we're going to put our little Christmas tree right over there and we're going to see what's going on for you guys. So I'm just going to lay out all the cards first from the Christmas Love Oracle because that's the time of year that it is, officially being December and everything. It is Christmas time. And so, yeah, I'm just going to lay these all out and then we're just going to connect the dots from there and see what's going on. I actually had to turn my ring light off completely, which was totally unexpected because um, it just got so bright, which was so weird. Like, it still feels kind of bright. <laughs> like, even my hand looks pale or something. Um, so, yeah, I'm still adjusting to this. So hopefully I can figure it out <laughs> during the time I'm here. Okay, we have leading the way. Just make sure it's in view. Playful. I got what you want. Fighting, not talking, unhappy.
bad spending habits. Actually put that over there. Don't ever let me go. I still believe. Santa's gonna come and make you mine this Christmas. Cuddle Buddy. Playful. That's twice you guys have playful. So we'll definitely get into that. I drink to be merry. And holiday travel. Okay, so we have a lot of different things going on here. Let's dive into this. Okay, so automatically I kind of get like this crazy push and pull dynamic out of you guys, but I'll get into that in a minute, exactly like what I'm kind of sensing and picking up here. So right off the bat, let's address this holiday travel card. So I feel like basically this is saying there could be some holiday travel planned for you or you could have planned um, coming up during the month of December, you know, maybe for Christmas, maybe for New Year's. Um, you could be going somewhere. Um, so yeah, and which is funny because I know a lot of people are not really traveling this year, once again, because of COVID and all the lockdown stuff and quarantine and everything, but that's not necessarily stopping everybody from traveling. I still traveled. I just chose not to do it by plane because I didn't feel safe getting on a plane. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather just get in my car and drive for several days and stay put for a while rather than get on a plane and everything. And I feel fine. And I've been here almost a week now. So I think that worked out well. But anyway, um, there could be some holiday travel that you have planned coming up during the month of December. If you do, you know, my only recommendation is to try and be as safe as possible. You know, wear a mask and carry antibacterial stuff and uh, wash your hands and, you know, all that good hygienic kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, there, there could be some holiday travel that you have in mind. And mind you, it doesn't necessarily even have to be getting on a plane. It doesn't have to be going anywhere far away. It doesn't have to be going anywhere for very long. It could be just like a little, it could be like a small two hour road trip just for like a weekend or something. So take it as it resonates. Um, it doesn't have to be anything like super major, but you may have some plans coming up holiday travel wise. And even if you don't, you never know. You may impromptu decide to, maybe for Christmas, maybe for New Year's, maybe for some other reason. Who knows? Um, but anyways, I definitely feel like you guys have this push and pull situation. So I feel like whatever, whatever love situation you guys have going on, whatever is going on between you and your person, I feel like there's going to be like a tug of war, like a lot of push and pull going on during the month of December. Um, so let's, let's get into the not so great stuff first. So we, we can at least end on a positive note. Um, so I do believe there may be some fighting, some bickering that goes on between you and your person. And it could be for numerous amounts of reasons. It could be trivial stuff. It could be stupid stuff like, you know, you didn't take the dishes out of the dishwasher last night. Something like that. Or it could be something major as well. Like, you know, you cheated, you broke my heart. Like it could be anything from super trivial and small to super major. Um, so once again, take it as it resonates, but it definitely seems like there's going to be some disagreements. There's going to be some arguing that is going to be happening during the month of December. I do feel for some of you guys, some of that arguing is going to be tied to financial stuff because we have bad spending habits and, you know, financial things for a lot of couples can be a hotbed of a topic for problems, basically. A lot of couples bicker and disagree about money. So there could be one of you who may go a little overboard in the spending this year, whether it's on yourself or whether it's on other people for presents and everything. But there could be a little discrepancy there when it comes down to shopping and holiday gifts and that kind of thing. So I do feel like for some of you, 
the arguing is going to be tied to this. It's going to be tied to money and financial stuff. It may not be for all of you, but for some of you, it definitely could be financially related. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, the coping mechanism to deal with that is not going to be the greatest because you or your person may turn to the bottle when the fights get really bad. Um, there could be a little bit of toxicity there. I'm not saying that like your relationship with your person is toxic or your person is toxic or you're toxic, but there could be some toxic behaviors. There could be some toxic attitude and tendencies that seem to come out of these triggers of the fighting of the financial discrepancies and either you or your person or maybe both of you um, kind of drown those sorrows away and that's your way of, of numbing yourself off and dealing with the problem even though that doesn't really deal with it. So I definitely feel like there's some push and there's some pull with, when it comes to that, which is not the healthiest thing to do, but it's something to be aware of. However, I do feel like even though there's going to be fighting and there's going to be some struggle, I feel like as hard as you guys fight, that's also as hard as you guys love at the same time. Um, with leading all the way, I almost feel like, you know, especially if you're the woman, if you're the feminine in this situation, like you're basically going to kind of try and like, seduce him out of the fight or something like that it's like you guys are going to be fighting and arguing and you know it's going to be kind of messy and then you're going to be just like you know I'm done with this conversation enough of this conversation and you're going to like pull an act like this or something like that on the card and before you know it he'll be completely distracted and he's not even going to remember what he was fighting with you about and he's probably going to be like yeah honey you're you you were right I was wrong. You were right. So I feel like for some of you guys, you know, you are going to be leading the way. You are going to be like leading the way out of the argument, out of the situation. And you're going to kind of like um, get out of the argument in a very creative way like this. <laughs> so I definitely feel like that is going to be the way for some of you. And, and another way that kind of plays into that is you guys have playful twice. Um, so I feel like even though you guys are going to be having these arguments at the same time, there's like this lightheartedness between the two of you and fun and almost like childlike, um, innocence between the two of you where you don't want to stay in that toxic behavior and you want to have fun and you want to be playful and you just want to enjoy the holidays and relax and be like kids again. So, um, I feel like one of the ways that you're going to wind up leading the way out of the arguments, basically, is by being playful, pretty much. You know, even this is being playful in its own specific way. So um, there's definitely going to be some playful times. And I feel like this isn't just in regards to your person, but I feel like just in general, you're going to have playful moments and playful times through the holiday season in general. You know, even with friends and family and you're not really going to let COVID or anything like that slow you down in terms of having fun. You're still going to find the fun for Christmas. And it's just like, you know, this could be like you and your person being playful. And it's like, this is like you being playful pretty much with everybody else in your life. Um, but yeah. So despite the fact that you guys are going to be having some of this push and pull arguing, um... I believe that ultimately you guys are going to work things out because you still believe. Like, even though you guys may scream and yell at each other sometimes, like, you guys may argue about the dumbest things. And it may look ridiculous to people on the outside. But it's like, you two know better than anyone where you guys are at and you understand each other better than anyone. You may even have, like, your own language of a sense of really understanding one another. So that's why it's like you guys still believe, like both of you still believe despite all of that. And I feel like that's what gets you through and brings you through those arguments and brings you through whatever those toxic behaviors are. Like before you know it, you wind up breaking that off. You wind up shutting that off. And, you know, you do find the fun in being playful again with one another. 
So this consistent belief, this consistent faith in one another and trust in one another and love in one another is ultimately what what gets you through those um, challenging times. And I feel like, you know, there's definitely this tenderness here because we also have Don't Ever Let Me Go. So it's like you guys are going to fight, but at the same time, you're going to kiss and make up. And, you know, when you do, like, it's the real deal. Like, it's tender. It's loving. It's good. It's unconditional. Um, the forgiveness that you both give one another is real and true, and it's not fake, and it's not phony, and it's like... When you guys come back together and tell one another that you're sorry, like you really mean it and you really make the effort to understand one another and understand um, where the other person was coming from so you don't wind up repeating the same things. So it's like as bad as your fights are because I feel like your fights are really bad. Like they look really ugly and to others when you guys fight they probably are just like you guys just need to break up. You guys just need to go your separate ways. You're not good for one another. I feel like as bad as that is, though, you guys love just as hard and just as fiercely. Um, so it's just, it's very intense, whether it's really bad or whether it's really good. It's really intense. And, um, you know, same with Santa's going to come and make you mine this Christmas, you know. Um, I feel like despite whatever fighting and challenges that there may be, you know, your person would basically say this to you. You know, they're always going to make you for them during the holiday season. You know, it's it's a Mariah Carey song. So, you know, I'm just thinking Mariah Carey here, you know, all they want for Christmas is you, basically. Um, and then, of course, to go along with, like, the tenderness and stuff. And my dog is totally dreaming right now. Shadow. He is, like, not... He's dreaming. Sorry, I got distracted. He was like making weird movements. I don't think you guys could see it completely, but he was totally just dreaming. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to bother him, but he was definitely dreaming. Um, but yeah, aside from like the tender stuff and everything, though, we are, and these two cards actually kind of are very similar in themselves because we have Cuddle Buddy and I Got What You Want. <laughs> And it's funny because I feel like in a sense, like this guy almost kind of mirrors, oops, almost kind of mirrors this girl. Like, you know, she's leading the way to get out of that fight and everything. And it, it's almost like he's responding to that. Like, oh yeah, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I got what you want kind of a thing, you know? Like, it's almost like he's responding to it. And I feel like that's basically how he's going to be when you wind up doing this as a distraction to get out of the fight. And these two guys look very similar. You know, they're basically stripped down with their Santa hats on, and it's like the same kind of attitude. And who knows, your dude may actually literally physically do this and just strip down and put on a Santa hat, and that's going to be that. <laughs> But I feel like basically, you know, this is this is saying that there's going to be the action here and then there's going to be the tenderness and the cuddling and the closeness and everything um, like during and afterwards in a sense, too, which, you know, kind of goes into don't ever let me go at the same time, like that tenderness part. Um, so, yeah, I feel like the fighting is going to be serious, but so is the making up. You know, like the making up is going to be just as spicy and hot and explosive as the fighting is. So that's why I'm saying I feel like you guys are definitely going to have a very push and pull kind of tug of war December, basically. So uh, get get ready for that. You know, it kind of reminds me of like that old movie, The War of the Roses, but except like you guys will actually be making up and everything. <laughs> So that's kind of what it reminds me of. So, um, you know, just try try not to get too frustrated with your person. Try not to let them get too much under your skin. Um, but that's pretty much what I see going on for you guys. Uh, let's see what your loving words from Jesus card says. And it says, Forgive and you shall be forgiven. Luke 6.37. And that is so fitting and appropriate for you guys with all this fighting going on. <laughs> 
<laughs> like this could not be a more perfect card. So I feel like this is the perfect reminder to you guys, even when you're fighting and you're upset with this person, you know, don't go to a bad place of drinking. You know, another thing that I just thought of is one of your ways of coping could even be by spending. You know, maybe you're not like a drinker. You could be like a shopper or something like that. That could be a, a coping mechanism. But anyways, regardless, when it comes to the fighting, when it comes to the arguing, forgiveness is key here. Um, yeah, forgive and you shall be forgiven. So <laughs> pretty self-explanatory there, you guys. Forgive your person. Don't hold it against them. Don't hold grudges, especially during the holiday season. Um, life is too short to be dealing with that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's what I see for you guys for your December 2020. Um, I hope it made sense for you. If it did resonate, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, even if it's a simple, small emoji. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot. Feel free to... Um, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on their way. Otherwise, I am just so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys decided to come here and hang out with me for a little bit today. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose this ornament that has my name on it, the Heather ornament, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what your December 2020 is going to be all about. So I'll just put the ornament over here. And we're just going to go ahead and lay down all of the cards right off the bat to see what's going on. And then we'll just connect the dots and um, put it all together, see what comes through. You guys have, you have me hooked, fun with friends, Mrs. Santa's helper, sex bait, something's got to give. Spirit has something special for you. Exposed. I've been a naughty good girl. Sancho, the lover. Let me treat you. That one up there. Expecting and down for anything. All right, let's dive into this here, you guys. See what's happening for you. Okay, so here is what I feel like is going on dealing with you guys. Um, so, I feel like probably already going into December, probably already going into the beginning of this month, um, whatever is going on between you and your person, um, I feel like you, you're basically hooked on this person. You know, you're basically hooked on them. They're basically hooked on you, um, you know. You've probably gone through periods of time in the past where it's like you, you just want to like break the connection. You want to break out of the situation um, where you just want to be free from it, basically. Um, you want freedom. It's almost like you feel like you're imprisoned to it, that you can't escape it, that you can't get out of it. And I feel like in, in a lot of ways, it's probably mirrored. I feel like a lot of ways they feel the same way, even if they don't let you on. But I feel like going into December, this is pretty much how you feel. Like you feel completely and totally hooked on this person and things may not have been the best or things may have been a struggle and they may not necessarily have been the easiest between you and this person 
And um, because of that, you know, you're kind of going into December with a struggle is what it comes down to. But, uh, yeah, and I feel like to go along with that, we have something's got to give. So because you are hooked on this person and you may have felt like you don't want to be, like you just want to be free, you just want to be let go of the situation, it makes you feel like something's got to give. Like, you're like, how can I break myself out of this? Or if I can't break myself out of this, are they ever going to step up? Are they going to ever come through? Are things ever going to work out between the two of us? Are things ever going to have a happy ending kind of a thing? So it's like there's this constant pressure that you're under because of that. So it makes you feel like basically this, like something's got to give. And in, in, in a lot of ways, they may feel the exact same way. But once again, you just may not be aware of it. You may not know of it. And they may have their own reasons why they feel this way. You know, maybe they feel like you're really not into them. Or maybe they have their own doubts or their own worries as to why they think things wouldn't work out. But either way, um, there definitely seems to be this pressure of, you know, you guys being hooked on one another, not being able to break the bond, not being able to break the connection despite wanting to, and... Um, feeling like something's got to give because whatever path you've been on, whatever it is that you guys have been doing in this connection, it hasn't been working. And because it's not working and it's not sustainable, you know that something has to give. But I feel like in the meantime, um, you know, spirit has something special for you. You know, God has something special for you. You may be feeling like something's got to give and there's all this weight and there's all this pressure and you want to break out of things, but little do you know, there may be something amazing right around the corner that's ready to happen for you. But I feel like the only way that that's really going to happen is if you guys let go and go with the flow because we have down for anything and down for anything pretty much says to me, like going with the flow, you guys, um, you know, if you're constantly kind of all tensed up and twisted up on the inside, um, you know, like wondering, how is this going to work? Like, how am I ever going to let go? Or how am, how are things ever going to work out or anything like that? Like, what is it that's going to give? What's going to make this happen? How are things going to give? Um, if you're constantly wondering that, that's not going with the flow. And if anything, it's like if you're driving a car, it's like you're riding your brakes. You're constantly putting your foot on the brakes and you're not, you don't necessarily need to put your your foot down on the gas pedal. You don't have to put your pedal to the metal, but you should at least be able to just cruise. And you're not even letting that happen. So I feel like you guys really need to kind of ease up on the control factor there and just surrender, which I know it's not easy. It's not fun. I've been going through a lot of this recently myself, you guys, with the whole uh, needing to surrender thing. And surrendering isn't a one-time thing. Surrendering is a constant thing. You know, it it's something you have to practice every day. Sometimes it's not just every day, but it's literally minute by minute sometimes. But I feel like that's what you have to do. Just be flexible, be open, surrender, go with the flow, be down for anything. You know, look at this Santa. Like he looks like he has absolutely no cares in the world. He's just ready to, you know, have fun and ride with the wind. That's kind of how you guys need to be dealing with the situation. Don't be so like uptight and type A, I guess you could say about it. And one of the ways that's, that could help you guys go with the flow is have some fun with your friends. You know, don't forget the fact that you have friends and you have other people in your life who care about you and love you and want to be there and want to enjoy the holiday season. You know, the holiday season isn't just about love and romance and all those other things, but it's about friends. It's about family. It's about giving back to your community. It's about being there and connecting with people as a whole. So, you know, connect with other people, have fun and enjoy some experiences with other people that you care about in your life. Because I'm sure that there are other people around you that you love and you care about and vice versa. So, you know, that's the perfect distraction. It's a healthy distraction. Distraction. It's a good thing. So take some time to be with friends and enjoy good times. Um, 
Now, one thing that I do think is kind of funny is um, <laughs> between you and your person, I do feel like connection is going to be made. Things are going to happen. And I feel like because there's been kind of like all this pressure going on between the two of you um, where, you know, something's got to give and stuff, it's like you're almost going to want to kind of play with them in a sense, you know, almost kind of like the dangling the carrot in front of, you know, the animal kind of thing and then pulling it away. I almost feel like you're going to do that with them with sex bait and I've been a naughty good girl. Like these two cards kind of have a very similar vibe to me where it's like a teasing kind of a vibe. It's like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's similar to teasing. It's, uh, not, not, not a player, not playful. Um, I don't know. It's just tease the word I'm looking for. I don't know, but you, you know what I mean. It's like, you know, you put it out there, you dangle the carrot, and then you just take it away. Like, you advertise it like it's going to happen, but then you're like, oh, never mind. It's like at the very last moment, you're like, oh, no, never mind. Forget that kind of a thing. Um, so it's like you get them all wound up and you get them all hot and bothered, and then it's like, oh, no, never mind. So I feel like that's almost going to be your way of handling it just because you've been so sick of being hooked and you've been so sick of you know wanting something to give it's like when you do finally connect with this person you're going to kind of basically tease them because you're just like I'm not going to give this away as easily as you think I am I'm not going to give this away like maybe you did in the past um, this is something you're going to have to work for so it's like yeah I'm going to dangle the carrot or the candy cane in front of your face, but if you really want this candy cane, um, you know, it's like Christina Aguilera, it's like genie in a bottle, you gotta rub me the way, right way kind of thing, you know, I can tease you, I can uh, advertise it for you, but, you know, this is just the trailer, you don't get to see the movie unless you pay the ticket kind of a thing, so I feel like that's kind of what you're gonna wind up doing when things do come together, and I feel like when you do that, it's basically going to expose their truth because there's definitely a truth here that needs to be exposed. When I see the exposed card, that's what I wind up thinking of. I think of like a truth being exposed. Um, something is going to be revealed. And I feel like one of the reasons why it's been so hard and it's felt like something needs to give, I feel like the thing that needs to give is this truth. Whatever it is that's been held back, whatever it is that needs to come out, it's gonna come out. You know, for example, maybe they haven't been completely honest with you about how they feel towards you. You know, maybe they've kind of just like played it down and played it cool or whatever, and maybe they're finally gonna come out and tell you what's really going on and how they really feel. So I definitely feel like a truth is gonna be exposed, it's gonna be revealed, and I feel like for most of you, it's going to come out of this teasing because they're just not going to be able to handle it. They're not going to be able to handle this. And then you just take it away. And then they're going to be like, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, this is the truth. This is how I really feel. You know, it's like, it's almost like that truth for you may be what it is that they need to pay. You know, once again, if we're going back to like the movie analogy here with like the trailer and the movie kind of a thing, that could be what it is. It could be that, um, you know, you give them that trailer and they really want that movie, but the only way they're going to wind up paying for that movie is if they give their truth and their truth may be their form of payment, basically. So, um, you know, that's what makes them exposed here and revealing their truth. Um... So yeah, so I definitely feel like that's going to be the case with that. And pretty much coming out of that, as for, you know, what the something special is that is planned for you, that could be ahead for you guys, coming from spirit, coming from God, source, universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, I feel like that's definitely... <laughs> going to get that person in this spirit where basically they're going to be that lover. They're going to be that very 
sensual, very in touch lover who is just going to like love you and ravish you and everything else. Um, and who knows for some of you guys, they may wind up wanting to even wife you. I mean, we have Mrs. Santa's helper. I mean, if he's miss, if, if he's Mrs. Santa's helper, then somebody is taking some kind of higher level of commitment here to be a Mrs. Even if it's not like marriage, there could be just like a higher level of commitment that could be coming here out of all of this love. And, um, and it's funny because, you know, he's also carrying this little present, this little package. And, you know, just given the context of how he is in this picture, I definitely feel like there is going to be a package, if you get my drift, of what he wants to give to you. Um, so, yeah. And I feel like that will most likely happen after the truths have been exposed after the price has basically been paid and um oh and you know same with this with let me treat you I feel like let me treat you and Sancho are very similar too because it's basically like Sancho you know this very um like I think of Sancho as like someone who is very giving like he he wants to um, give you the pleasure, basically. He wants to give you the desires and everything that you want. Um, and, you know, let me treat you goes hand in hand with that. Like, I feel like he's just going to want to treat you. And I don't necessarily just mean in the context of what's on these cards, you know, like underneath the Christmas tree or whatever. Like, I feel like he wants to treat you like he wants to treat you in life. Like he wants to, you know, treat you like the queen, like the princess, basically, that you truly are, um, you know, after stepping up and revealing that truth pretty much. And finally, with expecting, I feel like with this card, it's implying one of two different things. It either, it either implies like a new beginning between you and your person, um, out of them, revealing their truth, exposing that, and that new beginning could be the something special that spirit has planned for you, where, you know, it's the ending of this, where you feel like something has to give, it's the ending of that struggle, and um, it's this new beginning, because, you know, when you're pregnant, when you're expecting, it's a new beginning, it's a new life, so I feel like it's like a new life for your relationship. Or, take it quite literally in the context of what's on the card, it could actually mean that when you guys come together and make this all up, this may be the result. So, take it as it resonates. It could be one or the other. Um, so, yeah, that's what I see going on for you guys for December 2020. Um, finally, for your loving words from Jesus card we have pray always Luke 21 36 so um you know that's always a good re reminder to pray always you know pray without ceasing um regardless of what's going on with the situation you know prayer is going to help you with everything in life it'll especially help you in this but you know it's going to help you with anything in life you know pray your way through the day um you know don't just pray when you need it but you know pray for what you're thankful for you know, just, it's kind of like a conversation, basically. It's like breathing. So, um, yeah, just pray your way through, through the day. And I feel like that's a really good recommendation for anybody really. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's what's going on for you guys for December of 2020. Um, anyways, if this made sense for you and if it resonated, please leave a comment down below. Even a simple, small emoji goes a long way. Um, oh, sorry, I hear no noises in the hallway. It's my mom. <laughs> it's so weird recording and everything around other people right now. I'm still getting used to it. So if I, if I sound a little off, it's probably because of that. Like, I'm just like, eh, what's going on out there? <laughs> um, but anyways, 
she's talking to the dog. She literally just said, you're not welcome in there. Not my dog, because he's obviously over there, but her her dog, um, she's out there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was saying, though, <laughs> please leave a comment down below if this message made sense to you. Um, even a small emoji goes a long way. And please give this video a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on their way. Otherwise, I am just so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys decided to stop on by, come here, hang out with me for a little while. It definitely means the world to me. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose this star ornament, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is happening for you December 2020. All right. Let's see what we got going on here, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out all of the cards, and then we're basically going to connect the dots and see what's going on. So we... Oh, Shadow, please don't step in the middle of this right now. Okay, you want to move to the other side? That's fine. <laughs> okay, apparently... <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You're getting his good view. You're getting his ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why he just moved like that. Hey, why are you showing your butt off? That's not, that's not very nice. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, sorry. You guys get Shadow's butt. I can't help it. Anyway, you guys got <laughs> new home, moving in together, moving away, or moving out. Incoming happy message. Divinely delicious. I will eat you up. Warmth of your love. Secret feelings for you. Protection is a gift. Strong spiritual beliefs. I still have hope for us. Smothered with love. Abandoned, left in the cold. Clear intentions and love for children. Okay, all right. So let's see what is going on here with you guys. So um, the first thing that I'm seeing right off the bat, you guys, with new home is you may actually be moving this month. Um, you could be moving out of somewhere that you've been living in for a while that you've wanted to get out of. You could be moving in with somebody, um, you know, moving far away from where you've always been before. But either way, there seems to be like this relocation vibe that's going on. So for some of you guys, you could be moving. If it's not you, maybe someone that you know is moving, maybe someone who's close to you is moving, but there's definitely something in terms of relocation that's happening. If it's not like actually physically moving from your residence or someone that you know moving from theirs, it could basically just be moving from one stage of life to another. It could be moving from um, one mental mindset to a different mental mindset. But there's some form of movement, I guess is the point. But it's significant movement. Like I said, it's, it's either physically from one residence to another or it's going to be like 
one season to another in life, pretty much. So I feel like there's definitely pretty much like a major shift that's happening in December for you. Um, you guys actually have a lot going on. I feel like you guys have the most going on out of all the groups that I have seen so far. Simply because there's so many like up and down dynamics. So I feel like, um, and not to say that everybody else hasn't had their fair share of struggles that's come through because they have, but I feel like for you guys, it's a little bit more than normal. Um, so I feel like for you guys, um, I feel like specifically when it comes down to you and your person, number one, this shift, this change, this relocation kind of thing that could be happening, it could be happening dealing with your person too. If Once again, if it's not like physical from one residence to another, it could just be in terms of a season of life, it could be in terms of a mindset, um, a spiritual shift, it could be anything like that. So, you know, take it as it resonates, but it's definitely going to be probably something significant. So anyway, I feel like there's... There's going to be some ups and downs dealing with your person. I feel like in the past or maybe at this present moment, um, you have felt abandoned and left in the cold when it comes to this person, that there's definitely been some struggle. There's definitely been some heartache. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like you guys have felt left out of the loop when it comes to this person. You've either, either felt that way in the past or you could presently be feeling that way right now going into December. And I feel like if you have felt abandoned and left in the cold from this person, I feel like one of the main reasons this probably happened is you were probably basically the chaser and they're the runner. And you chased them by smothering them with love, pretty much. So this is probably where you're currently at or where you've been in the past um, that, you know, you met this person, you found this person, you clicked with this person. It was amazing. It was wonderful. You knew, you knew that this was the person for you. And then you just like went stage five clinger in a sense, you know, you just went all in and it may have been a little bit too much and a little too overwhelming for this person. And they basically felt smothered. Even if you had perfectly good intentions, even if, you know, your heart was in the right place, you know, it may have just been too much for them. They may have been overwhelmed. You know, maybe they've been scarred by love and they've had a difficult past and, you know, Maybe they don't know how to process and handle something good coming their way, so it scares them. You know, they could be somebody who spooks easily when it comes to that. So it wound up feeling them, making them feel smothered, and because they didn't know how to handle it, they basically just kind of dumped everything with you and made you feel completely and totally abandoned. So I feel like that's kind of where you may be at right now, or that's where you've been in the past. But despite all of that, um, I feel like you still have hope for the two of you. And even your person, even if they may not necessarily act like it on the outside, I feel like deep down inside, they probably have hope for you as well. Um, but there's definitely this hope. And I feel like this hope is connected to your strong spiritual beliefs, because I feel like Despite the fact that you may have chased them down in the beginning or recently, despite the fact that you may have been a little overbearing, maybe kind of the meme of the overly attached girlfriend <laughs> in a sense, um, even though you may have done that in the past, I do feel like you're someone who has strong spiritual beliefs, meaning I feel like you're someone who's not spiritually immature. I don't feel like you're someone who um, is kind of new to this whole thing. I feel like you're someone who's been around the block a few times. You've been through the school of life. Um, you get it. Like, you get that there's more than meets the eye when it comes to this world. You understand that there's a lot more underneath the surface of what goes on dealing with things. 
um, that there's multi levels and multi layers to things. So I definitely feel that you understand that. Um, so I feel like your strong spiritual foundation, basically, like your relationship with God is what gives you hope and what gives you that steadiness. And I feel like you understand and you probably accept the fact that, you know, you were this chaser and you're like, yeah, you know, I was kind of like that. And, you know, I know I shouldn't really do that anymore. You know, I need to back off. I need to give them space. I need to leave them alone and let them kind of do their thing. Um, so I feel like you guys understand that. And I also feel like that this connection and going through being abandoned and being left out in the cold, I feel like that's only made your spiritual beliefs stronger. Like it's brought you closer to God. And that's not unusual because, you know, when you go through a hardship, when you go through anything that's difficult and challenging in life, it could be a love situation, it could be a health situation, it could be a financial situation, it could be anything. But anytime we go through things like that, um, it, it usually brings us closer to God. You know, usually we get closer to God in the difficult times in life, in the challenging times. Not to say that we're not thankful or grateful in the good times, because we are, but those usually aren't the times when we grow. You know, they don't call them growing pains for no reason. Like, they're called growing pains because you're usually in pain when you're growing. Um, so, yeah, but I feel like you guys... Um, you're spiritually mature. Like, you know, you know stuff. Like, you get it. You've been around the block a few times. Um, so yeah. Anyway. But, um, I do feel like things will wind up improving because we have an incoming happy message. And I feel like your hope that you have for you and your person, that it's good that you have that hope. It's good that you have that faith because there is going to be an incoming happy message that, you know, you're not going to remain abandoned and left out in the cold, that um, you're not going to go down as the infamous overly attached girlfriend or anything like that. Um, so I do feel like eventually they will come around and that they will send you this message and that it's going to be a welcomed message. You know, it's going to be a happy message. You know, it's just going to, it may even be a simple hi how are you doing? But, you know, it's going to be very welcomed for you when it comes in. So you're definitely going to have a welcomed, good message that's going to come in. And I feel like when it does, intentions are going to be made clear. Like the air is basically going to be cleared between you guys as to what's going on. Um, because I feel like this person does care about you, you know, I feel like this person, you know, they care a lot for you and, you know, it's basically secret feelings for you and they haven't necessarily made that clear. They haven't made their intentions clear about these feelings, about these emotions. And the reason why they haven't is, you know, you probably came on a little too strong in the beginning and, you know, they did this, they left you out in the cold here. But when they're ready, they're going to step up and send you that message. But they're only going to do it if you're not chasing. You know, you got to kind of step back, do your own thing, take care of yourself. You know, don't focus on them. And when you're not focusing on them, you're going to get that happy, welcomed, surprise message, basically. And I feel like when they do, they're going to make their intentions clear to towards you. They're going to reveal the truth of what's really going on underneath, the fact that they really do care. Um, but they may tell you that they need to go slow. I feel like this is someone who um, isn't going to be able to move quickly. You know, like they're not going to be able to move at the pace of this. You know, they're not going to be able to move on feeling smothered and that kind of thing. Like they're probably going to want to take their time is what it comes down to. And I feel like for some of you guys you may be kind of in a hurry because I feel like you have this love for children and, you know, maybe you want to have a child. Maybe you want to have a child with this person and maybe you're in a hurry because you're like, yes, 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 marriage and babies, babies and marriage, blah, 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 blah. You know, it kind of reminds me of like Monica on Friends when she wanted to 
have babies with Richard and, you know, he was like way older than her, whatever. And he didn't want to do that. And then once she got together with Chandler, that's all Chandler thought of. He was just like, oh yeah, you know, my crazy friend, Monica, who, um, is all crazy about marriage and babies, babies and marriage, blah, 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 blah. And when he started dating her and everything. And it just, it reminds me of that kind of thing. Um, so you may be like Monica, you may want to have kids and or yeah like you may want to have kids or like build this family with this person or something or maybe you already have a child and you're looking for someone to kind of like step into that role of being that child's father figure basically um so yeah there could be this urgency inside of you when it comes down to children and they just Honestly, they may not be ready for that yet. Not to say that they don't want to have that eventually because I feel like they will and that they would and that they would want that with you, but they may not be there right now. They may need some time in order to get there, which is also where protection is a gift comes in. I feel like they're definitely going to want to make sure that this whole situation is wrapped up real nice and tight in a little bow <laughs> because I feel like they're just not going to be ready for if there's like an oopsie or something like that. Like they're just not ready for that yet. So, um, I feel like they want to be safe and not just in terms of this, not just sexually, but I feel like they want to be safe relationally. Like just when it comes down to your relationship, like when it comes down to taking each step, I just, like I said, I feel like this person is very guarded. I feel like they want to go slow. I feel like they don't want to get overwhelmed too fast. Like they just want to, they want to feel safe. They want to feel protected. They want to feel like they're not going to get their heart smashed in. Um, so I feel like that's the big thing. But even though they feel cautious, even though they feel that way. And I feel like it's not because of you. It's probably because of their own experiences from the past and that kind of thing. Even though they do feel that way, um, there's still that strong attraction that they have to you. You know, they finally, they find you div divinely delicious. They will eat you up, you know, hence this as well. <laughs> you know, if you think about it quite literally, um, but yeah, they are definitely attracted to you. And not only are they attracted to you, but, you know, they love the warmth of your love. Like, they can feel that. Like, they can feel that you are a kind person. You are a good person. You are a giving person. Like, I think they understand, even though you may have come on a little strong in the beginning, I feel like they understand that it wasn't coming from a malicious place, that it wasn't coming from... A manipulative place I feel like they understand that it was coming from a healthy place and a good place and that you do have good intentions for them like I feel like if anything you made your intentions clear to them that it was coming from a good place so I feel like they do understand that but you know they're gun shy is what it comes down to you know they're they're yeah they're just they're a little shy when it comes down to the situation and they need to move slow because I feel like, you know, their heart is still very much still healing themselves from whatever it is that they may have dealt with in the past. So I feel like they need to be handled very fragilely and kind of with kid kid gloves. Like it's a sensitive situation for them, but they do enjoy your warmth. And I feel like if anything, it's this kind of warmth and tenderness and unconditional love. This is what they need the most. Because this is what's going to make them feel safe. This is what's going to make them feel protected. And, you know, just take their time. You know, just don't overwhelm them. Don't go from 0 to 100 with them. You know, don't go from, you know, we've been on one date. So let's go get married tomorrow and have a baby the day after that. <laughs> don't do that with this person. That's going to overwhelm them. You know, if anything, let them take the lead with that. Let them be the one to, you know propose those ideas of what the next level is going to be and when it's going to happen. Not to say that you can never have a say in that, obviously, but, you know, at least for them, for where they're at right now, they're going to need some time. I just feel like you're some dealing with someone who is a little delicate here during the month of December. So 
Yes. Um, I think that covers all the cards there. Yeah. Um, finally, from Loving Words from Jesus, because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day helps keep the bad vibes away. You guys got... Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Mark twelve thirty. So, um, and I feel like you guys already do this, you know, like thinking about strong spiritual beliefs here. I feel like you guys basically already do this, that you guys already have a really tight relationship with God, and you're good with Him, and you love Him, and I feel like it's just a reminder to keep doing that. Keep doing your own spiritual walk. Keep doing your own thing, because... That's going to be the best thing for you. It's going to be the best thing for your person. Um, it's going to help you not only give them the time and space that they need to go slow, but it's also going to um, help heal your person and help them feel better as well. So, yeah, that's basically what I see going on for you guys. I hope that resonated and made sense. Um, if it did, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, even if it's a simple, small emoji. Um, that definitely helps out. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot, too. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on the way. Otherwise, I am just so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys decided to stop on by here, hang out with me for a little while today, and um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I'm sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 5. If you chose this cute little hot air balloon ornament, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is in store for you for December 2020. And I apologize. My dog decided to move to the other side, and now he's showing his good side, his butt. So you get to enjoy his cute little ass for this reading. And he's just looking over his shoulder at me right now like, why are you talking about my butt? Well, you're putting your butt on the camera, so that's why. And I don't even think you guys can see his face, but it's kind of funny right now when I talk about him like that. Um, okay, anyway, so we got some cards here from the Christmas Love Oracle. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay these all down. And then we're just going to connect the dots and see what comes through for you guys. Karmic Interference. Wrong Path. Over it. Don't care. F off. Done. Magical chemistry, good vibes. New Year's with you. I need a break. Don't accept a toxic person. I want you to meet my family. Our love is timeless. Let's get away. All I want is you. And broken, shattered, can't be fixed. Okay, so right off the bat here, you guys, the first thing I see going on um, is definitely some serious karma. Um, so let's address the icky stuff because there's definitely some icky things coming through, which isn't so great, not so good, but let's let's get it done, let's get it over with. So um, it definitely seems like either you guys may be in a karmic relationship yourself right now or you may be involved with somebody who is. Um, because we definitely have karmic interference. So I feel like this card is basically saying it's either you who's in a karmic relationship or you could be involved with somebody else who is. 
Um, so, you know, if it's like a twin flame kind of situation, maybe your person is involved in a karmic relationship or something like that. Um, so there's definitely something not so good going on there. And I feel like whoever it is that's in the karmic situation, whether it's you or your other person, um, it's not the right path. It's definitely the wrong path. You know, usually these karmic situations are, you know, they're not the right path to be going down. So I feel like someone has definitely fallen down the, the wrong path during the month of December. Um, it's almost like instead of trusting your intuition or trusting your gut or, um, you know, trusting your heart, it's like you're listening to logic or you're listening to thoughts and worries and concerns all up in your head rather than going with faith and going with confidence that way, you know, going with like spiritual confidence basically. Um, so someone's definitely headed down the wrong path and I think it's definitely highly tied to this karmic situation. Um, another thing is whoever this karmic situation person is, whether it's the person that you're involved with or your person's person that they're involved with, it's definitely toxic. It's not good. Um, so I feel like, yeah, there's definitely some, some toxic stuff going on. It could be to the point where it's abusive in some kind of nature. Um, there could be unhealthy habits involved, like drinking or drugs, you know, any kind of abuse basically. Um, going on, but there's definitely some toxic stuff. There's definitely things that are unbalanced that need to be balanced. So um, I feel like either you're involved with a toxic person, and if you are, I feel like you're going to know, like you're going to know deep down if this person is toxic, if this person is no good for you. You're going to know if you're being treated right. You're going to know if you're being treated fairly. Um, and it could be that, you know, maybe you stay in the situation because maybe you share kids with this person or maybe it's for financial convenience or maybe you're just simply scared to step out and find out what life would be like without this person. Maybe, um, you know, you're just so used to it and so accustomed to it. It's almost like doing something healthy seems terrifying. You know, people unfortunately get trapped sometimes in these situations where they're stuck in toxic, bad, abusive situations, but they're so used to it, even though it's completely unhealthy and even though it's completely twisted, sometimes people stay there out of fear of the unknown of getting into a healthy situation, getting into a better situation. They don't know how that's going to happen or how that's going to look or how that's going to work out. And sometimes, you know, it's quote unquote easier to stay where it's not good. So definitely don't get sucked into that. And if it's not you who's with the toxic person, that could be how your person is feeling if you're involved with somebody else and there's like this third party element there's like this third party element of the karmic interference going on here. Um, so either way, someone's definitely been going down the wrong path. Like I said, being involved with somebody that they shouldn't be, being involved with somebody that's just not good for them. And I feel like this situation has brought on a lot of stress. It's brought on a lot of anxiety. It's left probably you or your person or both of you feeling broken, shattered, you know, just heartbroken, just feeling miserable. So I feel like it's brought on a lot of sadness. I feel like it's also brought on a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, like not knowing how to get out of it. Like I feel like if anything, you or your person or both of you guys could literally feel trapped, which makes you just feel like, you know, you just want to throw your hands up and be done with it all, you know, just give up, be over it, you know, like almost get to, it's like an angry place, but like apathetic at the same time. It, like you just throw your hands up and you're like, I don't care, but you're angry about it at the same time. And if you're angry, like you do still care, you know, no one who's angry does not not care. You know, if you really didn't care, then you wouldn't be angry. So it's like this air of putting it off like, you don't care, 
but you really do care because you're ang angry. So I feel like there's anger here. There's sadness over the situation. And because there's so much of that anger and sadness, um, you feel like you just need to take a break. <laughs> like it's just, it's gotten to you. It's overwhelmed you. It's knocked you down. You know, it's knocked you down just like Santa here underneath the tree. Like it's knocked you down and it's made you feel downright miserable and exhausted and, and done <laughs> basically. Um, completely drained. And usually, you know, that's what a toxic person or toxic situation does. They come along and they drain you. You know, it's like an energy vampire. You know, they come in and they just kind of suck in and take everything that you've got and they don't give anything back to you worthwhile. They don't give you anything um, healthy back to you that you really need, that you really deserve. Um, so yeah, I feel like unfortunately there's going to be a lot of that going on throughout the month of December and it's definitely going to be attached to some serious karma and it's going to be due to a very toxic person in your life. Now, once again, you guys take this as it resonates. Like I said, it could be your person who's in the karmic situation dealing with a toxic person, which, you know, brings in the sadness and the anger and the frustration, needing a break and everything between you and your person. It could bring, you know, Labo's emotions in for the both of you. Or like I said, it could be you who's involved in a karmic relationship with a toxic person, which brings in all those emotions as well. Clearly, someone's gone down the wrong path because of that. Um, I mean, that's a very specific thing. So if that does not describe your situation, then I would definitely pick a different pile because um, it's not a good feeling, you guys. It's definitely not. It's not a good feeling at all. So... Um, if that's not you, if that doesn't describe you, pick a different pile. Um, if it does fit, if it does make sense, or even if it's not like a romantic thing and maybe there's somebody else in your life who's kind of being this energy vampire in your life, you know, like a friend or a coworker or a family member or something like that, you know, once again, take it as it resonates because it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Um... So yeah, it's definitely going to be a struggle. However, um, we do have some silver linings. So it's not all bad stuff. <laughs> Although I wanted to get the bad stuff out of the way first because I definitely saw some not so good things and some rough things happening here. Um, I do feel like not like right now, not like early December or even mid-December, but I feel like towards the end of December, going towards New Year's, most likely after Christmas, um, I feel like things are going to improve and things are going to get better. Um, because especially if you are involved with another person, if this is like a twin flame kind of situation, there is magical chemistry. There are good vibes there between the two of you, despite like all this other <laughs> garbage going on with either you having a karmic relationship or them having a karmic relationship, um, or just, you know, nasty karma being in the connection some way, somehow, something toxic being there. Um, but there is this magical chemistry. There there are good vibes there between the two of you. Um, and I feel like this person, you know, they want to get past all the crap. They want to get past all the crud because they do definitely want you. You know, just like the song says, all they want for Christmas is you. So they do definitely want you. And um, in addition to wanting you, like, I feel like they see you someone worthy enough to like even meet their family. Like they want you to be a part of their family. So, you know, if you're the one who is in a karmic relationship yourself, they probably really want you to break out of that so you can go and be a part of their family. And if they're the one who is in a karmic relationship, they probably want to get out of that situation. So that way then they can, you know, move on and create a life with you and create a family with you kind of a thing. Um, 
so yeah, they definitely, I feel like they consider you family too, because they wouldn't want you to meet their family and be a part of their family and participate with things dealing with their family if they didn't see you as family yourself. So I do feel like towards the end of the year, um, towards the end of December, close to New Year's, there may even be a little getaway that happens. There may even be like a little travel that happens. It may not be very far away. It may be, um, you know, just like a little mini road trip or something away. It could be just like a little weekend getaway kind of a thing. But I feel like there's definitely going to be a little mini vacation that may wind up happening. And I feel like if anything, this is going to happen from all this stress and pressure of anger and sadness and needing a break. I feel like <laughs> this is going to be your break. This is going to be your moment to have that break is to just have a little getaway, get out, get out of town, you know, reset your mind, refresh your emotions, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I feel like that will most likely happen. Um, it could happen with your person. It may not. But if anything, I feel like this is definitely going to be a way of just like resetting your mind and like resetting your emotions when it comes to this whole thing because it's definitely going to be kind of a mess. Or you could even be doing a getaway to go and meet the family if the family is not nearby. That could be a possibility as well. Once again, take it as it resonates. Um, but the one thing I do think that's really cool on a very happy note and a happy ending note, I guess you could say, out of this pile is we have New Year's with you and our love is timeless. And the thing that I really love about these cards sometimes is I love how certain cards will wind up coming out together that are super similar because, you know, we have the younger couple on one side for New Year's and they have sparklers and then we have the older couple on the other side saying our love is timeless with sparklers. So it's almost like, you know, this is like you and your person. It's like maybe this is you guys now, like you guys are younger and I feel like New Year's with you, you know, New Year's is like, it's a new beginning. It's a new year. It's a fresh start. So it's like, this is like you guys eventually having that fresh start, that new beginning and, you know, starting off. And then as the years go by, you spend time together, your love evolves, you go through life's ups and downs, and eventually you guys become the older couple here. And you know that your love is timeless because it's lasted and it's survived and it's past the test of time, basically. Um, and the spark never goes away. You know, there's a spark here in the beginning and the spark continues even in your older age. Like it's a spark that never goes away. So I think that's a beautiful thing between these two cards is it shows like that change in time. It shows, you know, from the beginning to the end, in a sense, you know, from your younger years to your older years, you know, sticking it out, being together. So I feel like at least for the month of December, you guys, um, you may be going through a lot of messy stuff. I feel like probably for most of the month, I'm not going to lie to you on that because, you know, this toxic stuff, this karma stuff, wrong path, it's not good. There's definitely going to be some some rough and rough and tough stuff. You guys are going to have to overcome through the month of December. It may be touch and go there for a, a little while. There may be some uh heartache and some tears, for sure. And um even if it's like yeah, and I feel like even if you're with somebody right now, like where you're the one who's in the karmic relationship, I feel like you're going to feel so much better if you shed that and you get out of this toxic situation. Because if you do, you're going to be able to step into this. And there's a chance that this, this could even happen by New Year's, you guys. And that's not realistically that far away. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I feel like if anything, things are going to start to really improve and look up the most towards the end of the month, probably the last week of December, going into New Year's, going into January. Um, but there's definitely going to be some rough and, rough and tough stuff that needs to be overcome before you guys can get to this. But I think the point is, um, in order to get to this, you guys are going to have to overcome this karma, you guys are going to have to work through that. You guys are going to have to work through some anger. You're going to have to work through some sadness. You're you're going to have to, you know, get onto the right path, not the wrong path. And, you know, you and your person need to stop dealing with toxic people, whether it's them with their person or you being in a toxic relationship yourself. And, you know... Even even if the person that you're dealing with right now, like let's say you just have the one person and you're in a toxic relationship and you know this isn't good for you, when you let go of this, it's going to make room and it's going to make space for a better person to come along. And even if you don't know who that person is, they can still come along and you can still have this. So you guys, it doesn't really matter whether that right person is currently in your life or not. Like, that right person and that right time and that right moment can definitely come. But you guys got to get through some of this messy stuff. And then before you know it, a new beginning is going to be there. Could even be by the new year. And it's going to be the best new beginning ever because it's going to last a lifetime. It's going to last from when you're young until you're old forever. And the spark is always going to be there. And this is a beautiful, happy ending. Like I know the rest of this stuff was really, really messy, but I feel like it's really, really messy for a reason because there's something really, really amazing that's going to come out of it in the very end. And you know what they say, like anything that's worth having, it never comes easy. So if you guys are having a lot of struggle here, it's not in vain. There's definitely a reason behind it. Um, so it may be a struggle of a December, but it may be worth it come New Year's. Anyway, um, finally, from a loving words from Jesus, because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day helps keep the bad vibes away. You guys got, your faith hath saved you. Go in peace. Luke 750. So I feel like this card is basically reminding you guys to have faith through the month of December because it's going to be rocky for you guys for a little while. Um, it's not always going to be the easiest. So you definitely need to hold on to your faith and try to find that inner peace because I feel like there's going to be a lot of turmoil. It's going to be a, a lot of hecticness and a lot of feeling upside down during the month of December, and it may feel really hard for you guys at times to find peace, but peace is there for you. It is available for you. You just have to get in touch with your faith. You're probably going to need some serious prayer time. You're going to need to, you know, really rely on things that you don't understand. You're going to have to, um, you know, really trust God on some things that make absolutely no sense to you, but, um, it's going to pay off in the long run. It, you know, they don't call it the peace that surpasses all understanding for no reason. Sometimes things don't make any sense, but we can have peace about it still. So just trust your gut, trust your intuition. The more you trust your intuition, the more you trust your gut, the less you're going to be going down any wrong paths. So remember that. Um, anyway, that's what I see going on for you guys for December of 2020. I hope that made sense and resonated for you. If it did, please let me know and leave a comment down below. Um, I would love to hear from you, even if it's just a simple, small emoji. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on the way. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I am so incredibly grateful and thankful that you decided to stop on by here and just hang out with me for a little while. It definitely means the world to me. Um, keep sparkling. I'm sending you lots of hugs and much love. Okay. Hi, Pile 6. <laughs> it's me again. I completely and totally forgot 
to slip in your um, Loving Words from Jesus card. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip this in right here right now. And I'm actually going to slip it in at the beginning of your reading <laughs> instead of the end of it. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of that at all. Um, I have one more pile to do and I normally don't do this many piles. So <laughs> um, anyways, you guys got Nothing Shall Be Impossible on to You. Matthew 17 20 and I definitely feel like that is a good reminder to you guys and you will see as I get into this reading here what it is going to be in reference to exactly but um yeah nothing shall be impossible definitely remember that um so believe trust have faith and um unexpected things may wind up happening hi pile six if you chose this cute little sleigh filled with all kinds of presents, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is happening for you this December of 2020. And don't mind my dog's butt. He decided to move around a little bit and uh, now he's showing his good side. So yeah, that's just what he does sometimes, but he's still cute. He still has a cute butt because he just does. Anyway, um, we got some cards here from the Christmas Love Oracle because it is obviously that time of year to do the Christmas kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do to jump into your December of 2020. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down the cards and then we'll connect the dots here and see what's happening. So you guys got Winter Wedding. Stressed, too much to deal with. Enchanted kiss. Money giving or receiving. Sexual indulgence. Sorry, we're closed. I don't give a shit. Ruthless, F you, rude. Missing you like crazy. Enjoying yourself. Be grateful for what you have. Unexpected visitor. And making love by the fireplace. All right, you guys. So you seem to have a mixture of stuff going on this December. Um, so... Let's see. The first thing that I notice that's going on with you guys, um, and it's funny because every single pile has definitely had like this, has had this mixture of some kind of stress and some kind of pressure, um, but also good things happening at the same time. And I feel like, you know, it's really kind of no different when it comes down to you guys. Um, so I feel like December is definitely going to, unfortunately, bring you guys some stress, some pressure that's going to be going on that's not going to be so good. Um, you know, take it as it resonates because it could really be in regards to anything. It could be at work. Maybe you're going to be overloaded at your job. It could be within your relationship. It could be dealing with kids at home or something like that, like maybe you're homeschooling and dealing with COVID and everything. It could be financially, um, you know, take it as it resonates, but there's definitely going to be some stress and pressure. I feel like for the most part, it is probably going to be holiday related because as magical and as beautiful as the holiday season is, at the same time, it does come with its own set of expectations and pressures that sometimes we put on ourselves that is not necessary. So be kind to yourself, you know, give yourself grace, 
Um, don't be too hard on yourself this holiday season, and I do feel like that will help relieve whatever the, whatever kind of stress it is that that is going on. Um, so yeah, I definitely picked that up. And it seems like there's going to be a winter wedding involved. Now, if you yourself happen to be involved in the wedding, whether you're the bride or a bridesmaid, the maid of honor, or whatever the case may be, that could be where some of the stress could be coming from because, you know, weddings are a stressful thing to plan. As wonderful and as celebratory as they are, they can be very stressful to plan. Um, but it seems like there's definitely a winter wedding that will be happening at some point during the month of December, you know, kind of this holiday vibe. My dog is on the move <laughs> as he's walking around back there. Okay, we're going to move to a different location. Yep, shake it off. Okay, lay down. <laughs> don't lay down on the other deck. Please don't lay down on the other deck. I have pile number seven, like back where he is, and I just don't want him to lay down on pile seven because I still have one more to group to record after you guys. Um... But anyways, yeah, it seems like there's definitely a winter wedding that's going to be going on. If you if you yourself is not getting married over um, the month of December or at some point during the winter, or if you don't know anyone who is, then I take this um, to basically be like a higher level of commitment because, you know, when you have a wedding, you're getting married. It's a high level of commitment. So I definitely take this as there's some kind of higher level of commitment that's going to be happening basically in the month of December. Could still be the thing that's tied to the stress that's going on, but I do feel that there is um, a higher level of commitment that's going to be happening. It could be, you know, a wedding. It could be marriage. But either way, um, a higher level of commitment that's going to be happening. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like though, if we're asking about like between you and your person specifically, you know, if it's not you guys who's getting married, um, I feel like there's kind of been some distance between the two of you, whether it's been physical or whether it's been just emotionally, mentally between one another because we have missing you like crazy. So I feel like there's definitely been some time and there's been some distance between the two of you. And in some ways it's felt you leaving like this, like you just don't care anymore. Um, which is funny because in one of the other piles there was like this I don't care kind of a thing too, but still had like this anger attached to it. Which is funny because I don't feel like not caring and anger really actually go hand in hand because if you're angry about something you still care about it if you didn't care about it then you wouldn't be angry <laughs> and clearly like this guy is given the bird he's clearly angry he's clearly like not just over it um you know he's mad he's pissed off and i feel like um you know you missing this person and having this time of separation has left you a little bitter, a little mad, a little angry. Um, so I definitely feel like that's definitely been a factor, something that has been going on. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's something that's definitely been going on. But there could be, you know, like I said, this opportunity for a new beginning. Like I said, if you're not getting married yourself or if you don't know someone who's getting married, like, you know, this card could be like if you know someone who's getting married and, you know, this is just like an acknowledgement of you being there for that person or whatever. But if there's none of that going on, if you're not getting married, if you don't know someone who's getting married, I feel like that this could be simply a new beginning between you and your person coming out of this energy of missing one another and feeling angry and frustrated and that kind of thing. Um, and especially, um, well, what, whether there's physical distance or not between the two of you, I feel like this person could just wind up showing up out of nowhere. Like you may not be expecting them at all and they could just wind up showing up at your door or something like that. 
And, you know, then you definitely won't be missing them anymore. They'll be right there. So I feel like this person could just wind up showing up basically out of absolutely nowhere um, when you're not planning it. And when they do, I feel like it's going to be very magical. Like it's just going to bring you guys together. And, you know, it's like that enchanted kiss like you know that magical moment you know it's like that magical moment in the Hallmark movies or whatever you know when they have their kiss at the end and happily ever after and that kind of thing which you know would usher in this new season between the two of you this new level of commitment um so yeah I definitely feel like that will most likely be something that will come out of them popping up just unexpectedly out of absolutely nowhere. Um, now with money giving or receiving, um, you could take this quite literally and it could be about money. It could be about the fact that, you know, maybe you're going to be giving money to other people during the holiday season. You know, maybe, maybe you're someone who's very charitable and you like to give back to others or you have lots of people to buy presents for or buy gift cards for or whatever the case may be or someone may be very kind to you and be giving to you and give you money but I feel like more specifically if we're talking about this connection between you and your person um, I don't think it's necessarily about money and I feel like it's more about like giving and receiving between one another like giving and receiving between one another in terms of time and attention and listening to one another and being there for one another and being supportive and encouraging and things like that. Um, so once again, take it as it, as it resonates. You know, it could be one or the other. It could be a little bit of both. You know, maybe it refers to your person and maybe it also refers to the fact that, you know, maybe you do still do that anyways and you donate to charities and stuff like that or something like that during the month of December during the holiday season you know maybe you like to go up to the um the Salvation Army guys you know with the red buckets and the bells and all that kind of thing I don't even know if they're doing that this year because of COVID <laughs> but in case they do um but, you know, it could be a little bit of both for that matter. But either way, I feel like there's definitely this um, notion overall of giving and receiving, like kind of like give and take, give and take. So I feel like there's definitely going to be this even exchange of give and take, especially between you and your person um, when they do just kind of pop up out of nowhere and, um, you know, you guys are brought together. And um, let's see, as for sorry, we're closed. Um, I feel like this is a reminder, as funny as this is going to sound, I feel like if anything, this is a reminder to basically be open and to be flexible. Because um, I know the card says sorry, we're closed. And it's like, what does that have to do with be open and be flexible? Let me get to my point. Um, because I feel like this energy here of, you know, feeling like you don't give a shit, feeling like you're angry and upset over the situation, it kind of puts you into this mentality of being closed off. So that's where I feel like sorry we're closed comes from. I don't feel like this is to be taken literally about a business or anything like that. But I feel like this is to be taken more so about how you could possibly be when it comes to your person. I feel like there's a chance that you may fall into this hole, into this trap of being closed off, of coming off um, in an unwelcoming way, maybe a little icy, maybe a little cold. And I feel like that would basically be happening coming out of your own stress and coming out of this place of anger and frustration, basically, um, you know, before anything happens. So be mindful of that, that you're not closed off when they do make their unexpected return, because they are going to make this unexpected return. And that's why it's going to be unexpected, because you're not going to believe it. Like, you could be watching this right now, and you're going to be like, there's no way they're coming back, like whatever. But you know what? It's unexpected for a reason. It doesn't say 
expected visitor. <laughs> it says unexpected visitor. So it is going to be unplanned. It is going to be unexpected. It is going to take you by surprise. Um, so when that does happen, you know, be open, be flexible. Don't be closed off. Um, you know, I'm not saying like be a pushover and let them walk all over you. Of course not, you know, have healthy boundaries and everything, but be open, be receptive, be warm, you know? Um, so don't, don't be closed off. And I feel like one of the best ways for you guys to not go into that place of being closed off is to remember what you have. Remember what there is to be grateful for. Because the thing is, when we get into that place where we're closed off and we get angry and we get upset and all that other kind of stuff, we lose our peace because we forget what we have. We forget what we have to be thankful for. And even if you are stressed out dealing with the pressures of the holidays, the pressures of life, the pressures of whatever's going on between you and your person, guaranteed there's probably something that you have in your life to be thankful for. You know, whether it's your health or the fact that you have a roof over your head, the fact that you have food on the table, clothes on your back, you know, a job, even if it's not your dream job, you know, let's say you have just a job at least that helps pay the bills um, for your friends, for your family, for whoever in your life cares about you. You know, there has to be at least one person out there who loves you and cares about you and your well-being matters and is important to them. You know, it could be the fact that you have pets. You know, maybe you have a dog or a cat or a bird or something like that. Um, but guaranteed, you have something. There is something, at least one thing out there that you can be thankful for. So the more grateful and thankful you are, the less likely you're going to be closed off. The less likely you are going to be mad and angry over the situation, the less likely you're going to be stressed out. So I feel like that's really important, you guys, to um, remember what there is to be grateful for. And the more grateful you are, the more you're going to be able to enjoy yourself. The more you're going to be able to be able to kick back, relax, and enjoy the month of December, basically. You know, and in all ways, shapes, and forms, whether it's connected to your person or whether it's just, um, or whether it's just, you know, enjoying times with friends and family or maybe kicking back and relaxing like this girl in the picture, you know, she's sitting by a Christmas tree. It looks like she's got some hot chocolate or something. Um, so, you know, whether it's just cook, kicking back and relaxing, reading a good book, watching a good movie, whatever the case may be, just enjoy yourself. And I really feel like remembering what there is to be thankful for is just going to help you enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, enjoy, you know, even every, every little day kind of things. It's just going to help you so much with all of those things. And finally, um, last but not least, and this seems to happen in every single pile, doesn't matter who it is or what's going on, um, it seems like there's definitely going to be a little bit of action going on <laughs> because I do feel like if you're not closed off and if you do just go with the flow, if you remember what there is to be thankful for, um, if you really embrace this enchanted kiss that could come and, um, you know, allow this new beginning, basically this new commitment to take shape and take into place. There's definitely going to be some heat. There's definitely going to be some fire. There's definitely going to be some passion with sexual indulgence and making love by the fireplace. So I definitely feel like that will be happening and going on and it will be, and it's funny because it's like, it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be, um, almost kind of, I want, I want to say, like, not just, like, explosive. Like, I, I keep wanting to say explosive. But, yeah, I mean, maybe explosive. Um, but it's going to be 
almost like an adventure, I guess you could say, like an exploration. I don't know, it makes no sense, but that's like the best way I can describe it. But it's going to be that. But at the same time, it's going to be tender. It's going to be gentle. It's going to be romantic. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, very loving is the best way to describe it. So it's going to be a little bit of both. It's going to be like a little bit of adventure and fire. And it's also going to be like a little bit of tenderness and gentleness and love. So, um, but yeah, like that can totally happen for you guys. But like I said, if it's going to, um, it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be because you guys, um, are not closed off to things and that you guys remember what there is to be grateful for. So there are certain things that I feel like you guys are going to have to keep in mind in your mind if you want to get to the point of having this fun, having this beautiful enchanted kiss, you know, no longer missing your person, um, having them come in unexpectedly, and having this new commitment with them um, where there is equal giving and receiving between the two of you. And like I said, you know, take it as it resonates because some of these things could be taken very quite literally too with like an actual real winter wedding where there is a commitment or, you know, giving and receiving when it comes to money as well. So take it as it resonates. It may be a little bit different for everybody, but that's basically what I see going on for you guys. Pile number six. Um, I hope it made sense and resonated if it did, um, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you, even if it's just a simple small emoji that goes a long way, as well as a big thumbs up that helps me out too. Um, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on the way. Otherwise, I am so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys decided to stop on by and spend some time with me today. It means the world to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I'm sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 7. If you chose this cute little Santa on his skis, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what's going to happen for you December of 2020. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm kind of laughing, you guys. My dog just totally maneuvered himself uh, literally directly into the shot. So as long as he doesn't get into the cards here on the bed, then that's fine. Um, he's just going to stay here and he's going to be my little assistant and help out. So Shadow, say hi to all the people. Say hello. Yes, good boy. He's wearing his Christmas jammies. So he's all warm and snug, just like I'm wearing mine. <laughs> but yeah. He's all warm and snug, and he's going to help out here. So, all right, you guys. Last but not least, pile number seven. Here we go. So we are going to look at some cards here from the Christmas Love Oracle. And we're just going to lay down all of these cards and then dive into it and connect the dots and see what comes through. So we have... I can't wait to unwrap your love. <laughs> and Shadow's checking it out. Grinch. Party pooper. Always mad. Bad attitude. Thank you for loving me. Chopping out bad habits. Festivities, ice skating, fun in the snow, decorating. Guided by angels. Holiday cruise. Waiting. Celebrations of love. You took too much from me. 
abundance, and I want to spoil you. All right, you guys, let's dive into this and see what's going on. So, um, okay, right off the bat, the first thing that I feel like that's going on with you guys, I feel like there's somebody in your life this December who is a little bit of a Grinch. Um, you know, they kind of have a bad attitude. Um, they're the party pooper, you know, they're, they're the hater of the bunch, basically. <laughs> um, so I don't get the feeling that this is you, but I do feel like there's someone probably around you during the month of December who is a little bit like this. Um, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a coworker, it could be your boss. Um, so take it as it resonates, you know, whoever this person is, you know, it may be a different type of connection for each person. Um, but yeah, so there's definitely somebody in your life who is a Grinch. And most importantly, I feel like the biggest message when it comes to this Grinch person is to not let them drag you down. Don't let them spoil your fun, basically, because I feel like you're someone who wants to enjoy the holiday season. And, you know, it's been a rough year for all of us. You know, 2020 hasn't been an easy year. So I feel like you're someone who really wants to enjoy the holiday season and make the best out of it. You know, make lemonade out of some lemons, basically. So don't let this person make the lemonade sour, pretty much. You know, don't let this person ruin your mood or try to drag you down. Don't let anyone dim your shine, basically, because I feel like there's a potential for this grinchy person, whoever they are. There's this potential for them to take a lot from you and basically drain you, that this person could be a little bit of an, of an energy vampire, that this person, you know, may want to take some of your joy and your sunshine that you bring to life, that you bring to the situation. So don't let them take too much from you. You know, don't let this person get you down, basically. So that's really the first thing that I notice coming out that's really important for you guys to know for the month of December. I also feel like um, in the month of December, you guys are going to be working on improving your life and making it better because we have chopping out bad habits. And I feel like even your connection to this Grinch person who may try to take too much from you, that could be something that you may need to chop out. Like maybe you've been the kind of person who's a little bit of a pushover. Maybe you kind of allow people to walk all over you and take advantage of you sometimes. And this Grinch person could be one of those people. And I feel like if anything, that's a bad habit of yours that you're probably going to be changing. And you're basically going to develop a backbone and put your foot down and put up some boundaries and say enough is enough and do right for yourself basically and you know these chopping out bad habits it may not necessarily be just in regards to the Grinch situation it could be other things too you know maybe you want to create better financial habits or eating habits or you know other mental mindset things that you want to work on. Maybe you want to um, iron out some kinks dealing with like some insecurities or something like that. Maybe you want to break some negative mental strongholds, you know, so take it as it resonates. You know, bad habits could be a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but there's definitely going to be some self-improvement overall is what I'm picking up with this card if you're going to be chopping out some bad habits. But I do feel for a lot of you, it is connected to this Grinch person who may try to take too much from you. That it is going to be um, a habit of yours in regards to being kind of like this pushover, someone who's always there for everybody, like finally standing up and putting your foot down and saying enough is enough. I'm breaking that bad habit of being walked all over and I'm standing up for me at this time. So I do feel that way for most of you. And, you know, just know that when you guys are doing that, um, 
you guys are guided by angels. And I feel like that's a big thing that you guys need to know during this holiday season too, is through all of the activities that you do, through all the choices that you make, um, you are guided by angels. You're guided by them. You're protected by them. They're there with you every single day, day in and day out. You know, when you get in your car and you're driving somewhere, you got an angel on your front bumper and you got an angel on your back bumper. So they're with you there every single day, all the time. So, you know, if you are dealing with someone who's a Grinch and you are working on self-improvement, you know, you have angels on your side who are helping you through difficult situations like that, through making your life better. And I believe on the other side of that, there's abundance coming your way. There's abundance that's going to happen for you, especially if you're chopping out negative things in your life and you're dropping those things behind. You're making room for new and better things to come along. You're making room for um, blessings, favor, abundance, good things to happen, you know, just like Christmas morning, you know, you're leaving an opportunity there for Santa to come and wake up to all these amazing gifts under the tree available to you. Um, so yeah, like I feel like that's definitely something that's going to be on the way for you. And um, I do feel like that this is going to be a very busy holiday season for you because we have festivities, ice skating, fun in the snow, decorating. And I know that this year is a little weird, obviously, when it comes to festivities. Um, not everything is open like it once used to be. Not everything is available to do like it once was. I don't even know if kids can even see Santa this year because of COVID and everything. But regardless, you guys are still going to find the fun. You guys are still going to find um, holiday festive kind of things to do. You know, it could be, you know, like I know that there are some um, like drive through Christmas light kind of things. You guys could do something like that. You could just stay at home and watch Christmas movies. You could... Um, bake cookies and make a gingerbread house. You know, there's so many different like festive things that you guys can still do at home. And I feel like you guys are definitely going to participate in some of those activities and do some of those things over the holiday season. Um, so yeah, and then we also have holiday cruise. And I mean, this could be taken quite literally. Like, maybe you quite literally are going to go on a boat or something for the holiday season. But I know this may not necessarily click for everybody because not everyone is necessarily going to have access to a boat or a reason to go on a boat or anything like that. So if anything, I feel like this card basically mostly says to go with the flow um, because, you know, when a boat is on water... You know, a boat is just going with the flow. A boat is going with the flow of um, the the water, the current, and it's just cruising. You know, it's like putting your car into cruise control and just rolling with it. You know, you're not necessarily accelerating. You're not putting on the brake. You're just cruising. You're going with the flow. So I feel like if anything... That's what this card implies the most for you guys is going with the flow this holiday season. Going, whoop, it just wants to jump out at me <laughs> um, for whatever reason. Um, just go with the flow and enjoy these festivities and everything will be good. And I feel like that's important for you guys to do because at the same time, I do feel like you guys are going to wind up going through a period of waiting through the month of December, which is funny because the month of December is Advent season, you know, it is like the time of year basically where, you know, you have like an Advent calendar and you count down every single day until Christmas, until Jesus's birth. And the Advent season is a season of waiting. And there may be something important to you that you may be waiting for to happen in your life and this may be kind of like your own personal Advent season. And for most of you guys, I feel like this personal Advent season is 
tied to love. It is probably tied to a relationship. It's tied to a special person in your life. But I want you guys to know that this time of waiting, this time of your own personal Advent season, it will pay off because I feel like um, if you're waiting to either like get together with a specific person or take your relationship to the next level or, you know, come out of separation with somebody and experience union with somebody, I feel like that can definitely happen. And, you know, Christmas is a magical time. It's a time of miracles. It's a time of love. It's a time of blessing. It's a time of abundance. Um, so anything can really happen right now, you guys. And I think it's really important for you to go with the flow because the more you are going with the flow, it leaves the windows of opportunity open for that to happen. And I feel like your person, um, you know, they're very grateful for you and they do definitely love you. So I definitely feel that. I feel like your person definitely cares about you. They definitely love you. Um, and they're very thankful for you. And because of that, you guys are going to wind up coming together and you are going to wind up having a beautiful celebration of love. And I feel like a part of that celebration is the fact that, you know, they want to spoil you. They want to give you the world. They want to be good to you. And, you know, they basically want to unwrap your love. So, you know, do they want that tenderness? Do they want that love? Do they want to, you know, be with you underneath the tree and everything? Yeah, totally. And, you know, do they want to spoil you in those ways, you know, in sexual ways and everything? Definitely. But I feel like it's not just in the sense of the bedroom, but I feel like they also want to spoil you in terms of like their time and their attention and their love and in celebrating with you because they are so incredibly thankful for you. So they definitely feel these good things when it comes to you guys. Um, and when I also think of unwrapping your love, I don't just think of it, you know, like in this way, obviously, but I also think of it as like unwrapping this whole other layer, you know, like going to a deeper level, basically, of love, like a new level of intimacy is what it comes down to. Um, so yeah, so I feel like any waiting that you're going through, any... Advent season that you guys are experiencing when it comes to this relationship, it is going to pay off. It definitely is going to come together. And I feel like I'm just moving my, moving my foot around here. I've been sitting in the same position for a while here, you guys. By the time I get to pile seven, I'm like, ah, <laughs> I feel a little weird. I'm still kind of getting adjusted to this new um, setup and everything. So um, these first couple of videos out may be a little rusty simply because of that. And, um, you know, I have Shadow sitting here trying to assist me. You going to help me out with this reading? Is there anything you would like to add? Hmm? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Whenever I say do you wanna, he tilts his head to the side like that. It's the cutest thing ever. He's just become the show now. Um, but anyways, getting back to what I was saying, you guys, <laughs> um, yeah, but I do feel like there is going to be this union and this celebration of love and, you know, some of that abundance very well could be connected to this connection that is going to come through for you guys. So I feel like there may be a period of time during the month of December that you guys may be doing a solid amount of this but it's gonna pay off and I feel like it's really gonna help. Most importantly, you guys, if you don't let the Grinches suck you dry, keep working on yourself, improving yourself, kicking those bad habits to the curb, go with the flow, enjoy your life, remember that you are guided by angels, that they are there for you, that they are protecting you, that they have you and they're gonna take care of everything and eventually all of that waiting is going to pay off. And the next thing you know, you're going to be spoiled. You're going to be making love under the tree. 
and you guys are just going to be having a very merry holiday season with your person and things are going to go well. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me get you guys your loving words from Jesus card before I wrap this up. Um, I almost completely forgot it for pile six. I had to like go back and add it in because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> Hopefully I get better with this the more I'm here. Um, but I'm, like I said, you guys, I'm still adjusting to everything going on here and doing readings this way and stuff. It's just, it's a little weird for the moment. Um, we have what things so ever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them mark 11:24 so i feel like this very much so ties in with this waiting card you guys um so more than likely you've probably been praying about this situation and you're waiting for this situation with your person to come in and to come through um, during the month of December. So you just got to keep praying. You got to keep believing. You got to keep, um, trusting that. And it's like, the thing is when you, when you pray, you guys like go ahead and ask for it. But then after you've asked for it, you don't have to keep asking God for it over and over and over again. He knows. So start thanking him, you know, instead, you know, start thanking God and saying, you know, thank you, God. You know, I, accept this person into my life. I receive this person into my life. Like, thank you that you already have this done. Thank you that this is, this is already taken care of. So, you know, start receiving it. Um, even if it feels weird because it's not there yet, start receiving it. Even my dog agrees. He's starting to make his little grunty noises, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. And in a weird way, this card almost kind of reminds me of I want to say it's the three of wands. I think it's the three of wands. It's it's the one where the ships are coming in, basically. It kind of reminds me of that because we have Jesus standing here and, you know, he's holding like kind of like this wand thing and he's standing by some water here. And I know there's no ships, but it looks like he's like looking out, waiting for something to come in. So um, I feel like, you know, that's you guys, like you're waiting for that thing to come in. And I definitely believe that it will. Um, so yeah, I feel like the holiday season can definitely be a very blessed and abundant time for you guys. Anyway, um, that's basically what I see happening for you guys. I hope it resonated and made sense for you. Um, if it did, please let me know and leave a comment down below. Even a simple small emoji goes a long way. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out too. Feel free, to feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they are on the way. Otherwise, um, I am just so incredibly grateful and thankful that you guys decided to stop on by and hang out here for, with me for a little bit today. It definitely means the world to me. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love.